Oh yes, everybody. It's a rematch three years in the making. Adventure mode and don't start together. Only this time, let's say, Wilson's got himself a brand new bag. That being his new skill trees, everybody. Things that are probably gonna make this rematch really, really interesting. And right off the bat, obviously straight down these two trees because they're the best flipping ones. But now the alchemy tree gets a little interesting. I'm not gonna need gems, but the meat might be pretty good. Where is the gold nugget? I might need gold nuggets. So some of that alchemy is gonna be pretty good. This is not gonna matter at all, so ignore it. And honestly, you probably could just ignore it outright anyway in the base game. So let's go with that. Marble. Ooh, marble for some decent armor throughout the day. And then, well, I think then we can just pick and choose, can't we? You know what? I'm gonna go for it. The insulation. It's not that much, but if we get the Kings of Winter, it's actually probably gonna be huge. But hold up, Beard. How the heck are you playing adventure mode and don't stop together? That sounds pretty fun with multiplayer. Well, through the power of mods, friends. Thanks to Serb, Dark Zero, Penguin, and more, we have things like Adventure Mode, like Don't Starve Here, and its companion mod that adds the teleportado, the wooden thing, the world jumping mechanics of it all, and of course, the things themselves. Well, let's be off, shall we? And all we gotta do is use the divining rod to find Maxwell's door. Just like how we would in Zolo Don't Starve. Oh, but if this is not a bad omen, I don't know what is. <laughs> Sure, you want to come with on the adventure for two seconds, Chester? Why not? As yes, everybody, we're doing one video, one world, so we best get to it fast. Hello, Maxwell's door. And once we find it, we click on it. Boom, bada bang. Get ourselves a little warning, but we no need no stinking warnings as the fight is on, everyone. Let's see what we get as a first world. Oh, the game is afoot indeed. All right, I'm pretty sure we started last adventure mode with uh, a cold reception. So yeah, this should be a little different, but hello, Maxwell. All right, everyone, we know the deal. We need to find the things. Now, not to spoil much, but the game is afoot is meant to tell you that perhaps there's a little cheekiness happening. You might look at the top left and say, holy moly beard, that is all winter all the time. But why is it green? Yeah, keep an eye on that. Interesting. They're gonna put Don't Starve together specific things in the rotation of these maps. I wonder just how useful they're gonna be, but I am actually excited to see the adventure mode set pieces. Those things are the beginning of all the set pieces we see nowadays in Don't Starve Together themselves, and they're way cooler. But if you're new to adventure mode, everyone, know this. It's about keeping your feetsies moving, because you never know what you're gonna find. Bloody heck, I will take all this pigskin for sure. And look at this, I can show off torch tossing. Oh, we have our first indication of our first thing, everyone. Oh my, and look who it is. Hello, my friend. Also useful, but look at this too. I love these things, everyone. Yes, between branches, we're gonna have uh, some fun navigating some pig fortresses, unique little mazes. What happened to, where's Chester? <laughs> Chester, I picked up your bone for Pete's sake. Oh yes, folks, we're definitely at the first junction here. We have a uh, swamp one to navigate or a mini tall bird fortress one to navigate. And then we got the worst one, which is the clockwork one. Gosh, darn it, man. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go to the swamp one, shall we? It's easy enough, everybody. Again, just keep your feetsies moving and bloody heck, oh my goodness. Not only do we have absolute magician pangles, we have more or pigskin. Okay, well, this is just luck, honestly. And I'll take some free spider loot at that game. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But do not take all this as uh, only good, everyone. Just like any other Don't Star playthrough, things can uh, turn south very quickly. As yes, I agree. The game is being way too nice with these pig freaking heads. Holy everybody. Yep, the game is, uh, game's planning a horrible 
death in our future. I can feel it now. Oh, but what's this? I also feel something itchy. Beard level one is here, which also means, whoops, beard storage level one. Also in play now. Oh yes, we're getting somewhere. Uh-oh, might have been deceived everybody. Uh, right. Uh, also found a camper set piece. It's just a big old square with two things in it, a birdcage and a uh, tent, but yeah. I might have gone the wrong way. Let's see. Oh, we're good, folks. We just needed to find this little connective branch to this forest. And I got myself a pig house now, which is pretty sweet. That's going to be helpful with building uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy stations coming up. They also gave us a conspicuous chest, which I, uh, yeah, set on fire when I opened it. But didn't really miss anything. I got wood out of it. That's it. <laughs> and then, yeah, the terrarium. Why would I want a terrarium? Well then, didn't even need to put you on, did I? Because I was right bloody next to it. Here she is. The first thing of the adventure, everyone. Oh, lovely. Also, free spear. And would you look at that? A pigman village. All right, if we need to uh, stage from anywhere, this is not a bad spot. Safe, sound, easy, lots of resources, lots of food. Awesome. But obviously, the biggest thing right now is... Uh, we don't have no gold, no gold, no progress. So then we should probably change that. Yes, hello, Wilson's alchemy tree. Like I was gonna forget this, everybody. No, the whole bloody point of this is a rematch with new angles. So let's get ourselves some niter. Or you know, you can just find two gold veins in the forest of all places after the darkness subsides. All right, so we're still gonna use the alchemy thing. Don't worry, it's gonna get plenty of use as uh, the worlds progress here, but the game give, I'm gonna take. Oh, and look who finally decided to show up. <laughs> Why didn't you show up the first time I picked you up? All right, whatever. At least you can hold these for me, can't ya? Well, found my gold, everybody. Problem is, I'm pretty sure that branch is gonna be behind the tall bird branch. Yep, certainly looking like it. All right, that is our next destination, though. But this one's a bit more dicey, everyone. So to give us the best possible chance, I'm uh, gonna run through when all the mama birds are sleeping. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, that was a, a recipe for disaster. These things deal 50 flipping damage each. I am not taking this risk. And my oh my, look what was on the other side. All right, we already know where you are. That's good. So much so, actually, let's just leave this behind, shall we? But we're getting into tougher and tougher stuff, everyone. So it's definitely time for an upgrade now that we've found this gold. Let's get ourselves more than a backpack, a weapon and armor. Sounds good to me. Especially when we found you. Oh my, everyone. Mac tusks. Okay, problem with this branch, though. Uh, there might not actually be any trees. So I might have to go back to the other side at night again, only to come right back once again. Oh, you'll love to see it, everyone. Beard level two. Got ourselves a handband. Got ourselves some football helmets. And now, even a thermal stone. All right, now we can start moving around a little bit more. It's also day six. So, I made myself an umbrella. Spoiler alert, it's kinda gonna be important soon. And what's one of the first things I wanna do with my newfound power, you ask? You're looking at it, Mac Tusk. Oh, please unfreeze before he does. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was perfect, by the way. This is exactly how you want a Mac Tusk to go. Please drop it. Oh, you had to run away, you toss pot. But yeah, folks, that's perfect. Do you want to freeze this guy? It makes it so bloody, uh oh. Oh, okay, good, you didn't run. Oh no, you did run to a new one. Did you give me one or two? Nope, you gave me one. The thing that I'm actually probably not gonna need. Oh, a lovely don't starve together new boon, which is interesting to see. All right, wasn't anticipating that. And unfortunately, that is not only the only Mac we have, or at least for now, there are no things on this branch, but we have the really important thing. So things are good. <laughs> But that means we gotta go this way. But hey, just like all the others, we should be able to run through this. The problem is that bishop, yeah, that bishop is definitely gonna get a shot in. But if we get past the bishop, we'll be good. The other one's even sleeping, which makes it better for us. All right, run, 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 run. We're good, we're good, we're good. I can get my marble, actually, from this cut stone. Run, run. How about this? Can you shoot Chester, please? You know, the game's kind of just laughing at us a little bit, everyone. <laughs> Every time I want to use one of uh, 
uh, Wilson's transmutation things. The game just like gives us exactly what we're looking for. But screw it. I'm going to do it anyway. All right, Chester, give me some of those. Let's make some marble as we're standing right by all the bloody marble in the world. And say hello to one of the more unique biomes we have ever seen. And one that we don't have and don't start together. Just a straight up marble biome, everybody. It's crazy, dude. Just so many marble trees and pillars and stuff. It's pretty darn cool. Oh, and thank you, game, for giving me another Mac Tusk. Okay, I should probably take advantage of this, shouldn't I? All right, getting, 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 okay, I can make him run. If I make him start running the runny, that's good. Why did you run that way? Oh my goodness. And there she is, everyone. Speed for the rest of the run. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Why, hello, potato thing. All right, everyone. Two down, two to go. Oh, you're attacking Chester, you son. Of a gun. Where did you even come from? Listen, game, I already went hunting for Max. I got everything I need. Oh, hound wave. All right, we got a hound wave coming as well. Got it, got it. So don't mind me as I burn down the remnants of the past, am I right? But hello, doggies. How you doing? I like how the dog still spawned in the water. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Water. Ocean. It still exists. And yeah, they give us everything we need to cross it. Oh my, everyone. I was thinking don't starve throughout all this. I have to start thinking more DST. Especially if we get to the archipelago worlds and I can just cross it via boats. You know what? Yeah, this is supposed to be don't starve together adventure mode. We should do things that only Don't Starve Together Adventure Mode can do. I see our next destination, but I know for a fact I have to go through a killer bee field to get there. But if I just do something cheeky like this, watch the game just not allow it actually. <laughs> I mean, no, it's allowing it. Holy everybody. All right, land ho. Oh, but you know what else that means? And I'm kind of sad I just showed you all that. <laughs> I mean, play the way you want to play. But the fact that you can just sail on the ocean means you can just skip all these junctures, can't you? Right. Oh, getting close to something, folks. All right. Again, for those who are maybe new to adventure mode, every world we go into is going to be unique. And we'll talk about it when we enter them, of course. But the main objective is always the same. We need to find all four pieces of these things to bring to the big wooden thing. And then once we assemble them, we move on. What just happened to my potato? It's in my inventory. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, what happened to my potato thing? Uh, once we find all those things, we bring them to the thing. We progress to the next world. We do that over and over and over again until we meet the man himself. But don't mind me, bees, as it looks like I need to go back this way. I missed one, folks. And this is always the absolute bane of our existence in adventure mode. I missed one, I had to have, because it's not showing that there's anything else over in this direction. I mean, I guess I have that branch, but I think it would have told me something. I have the box thing over there, I have the two on me, I'm missing one, man, I'm missing one. And I know which one it is too, everyone, it's the freaking ring one, how, it's the ring one, and I don't know where it is, man, I don't know where it is, but this is an interesting sight to see. Pangle Colony that uh, no longer has any pangles. Yeah, 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 you might be wondering, what's coming next? Welcome to spring, everybody. Or at least, close enough, am I right? I guess the mod makes it day 11. What is this mom doing? What are these birds doing all the way over here, by the way? Uh-oh. I think my aggroing them is messing up where they're walking. <laughs> yep, they go back to their nests during the nighttime. But, uh, yeah, they're getting stuck on stuff. Holy man, this is why I love Adventure Mode. It does not pull punches. The set pieces that it presents the player to try to get through are just so good. So intimidating. I mean, just look at this. This is worse than any swamp we find in Don't Stop Together. It's also a lot bigger than any swamp we find in Don't Stop Together. Holy dude, this branch is taking me on an adventure of its own. <laughs> We got a reed trap, though. That's nice to see. Oh, but here we be. Beard level three. Spring, everybody. Okay, I think I missed it again, unfortunately. <laughs> Unless this branch is, like, the biggest branch in the history of branches, I must have ran by it because I am reaching... Ow! Oh, I am reaching the end here. Now, unfortunately, in the game is afoot in Solo Don't Starve, there actually is a potential for there to be a quote-unquote island all by itself 
that you need to find a wormhole for. And if I have to do that, we're gonna be here a while. Nope, I know exactly where it is because all those spiders aren't actually the juncture I was talking about because there's actually another juncture with spiders and it's up here. <laughs> it's gotta be up here. Just because I spawned over there doesn't mean anything, you dumb, stupid beard. Yeah, there's a road leading. The juncture's probably right there. There's another branch. I know it. I feel it. Let's go. Yup, it was here the whole time. Oh my goodness gracious, everybody. Okay, this is a nightmare, by the way. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Run! All right, we have no other option. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, fine, 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 fine. I have no way I'm clearing all this. But say hello to the uh, last branch, everyone. Now to find the last thing. Holy, you were a pain in the butt to find, but here we go, folks. Finally, finally, finally in the right direction. Oh, the ring thing. There she is. Chester, my boy, it's time to bloody skedaddle. I have had enough of swamps and slappy tentacles and spiders. It's just never ending. <laughs> it's been never ending for the last like four days. Took a bit of a knackering go- Ow! Oh, took a bit of a knackering going right back through that tall bird nest, everybody. Also, thanks for being really close to death, my tall bird friend. That's actually gonna help. Uh, but we're okay, I think. We're okay. Especially because I've been saving some tall bird eggs for a special occasion. I knew that before we left this area, we should probably get our stats in order, get ourselves a better hand bat, yada yada yada, as it is time. We have all the pieces we need. Because if we head on over to a lovely Don't Starve Together cooking boon, we can turn some of these tall bird eggs into tall scotch eggs, and holy moly, are we looking rather nice. Not on the old sanity mind, but uh, we're not done with the pain yet. We gotta clear those clockworks around the wooden thing. Well, some of them actually. All right, that guy can live because he's probably not gonna get in the way. Question, is this gonna work how the other one's gonna work? Hold up, hold up. When do I do it again? <laughs> Because I messed this up when we first did this three years ago. There's a way to bring things over to the next world. I gotta figure out how to do that. Maybe once we assemble it. Probably, right? And then... Are you able to open it? You're not able to open it. Uh-oh. Are you not able to bring things with you this time? That would be interesting. Unless I'm being really stupid. Oh, activate, activate. No, I don't think we can bring things with us this time. But here's hoping we can still bring prototypes because yeah, I, I kind of want to bring stuff. <laughs> Otherwise, everything I just did means for nothing. But at least we would know for next time, am I right? Unless it's an inventory thing, maybe just bring everything that's in your inventory. Okay, sure. I have the prototype that is obviously most important. Gears aren't gonna mean anything moving forward for the most part, okay. I guess we find out. But folks, this is uh, the end of episode one, technically. Nope, still can't open it. And there's a countdown. Maybe because this is supposed to be played in multiplayer, yeah, everyone just takes their stuff with them. There's no way to just have four slots to take four things. Let's find out, shall we? Bye-bye a, uh, oh no, not a cold reception. This was game of foot bye bye a game of foot let's see what's next archipelago everybody okay interesting i like archipelago it's one of my favorites and hello tall lengthy maxwell once again moment of truth what do we have nothing oh my you know i like it modders i like it but folks this will do for us because uh we're not in a good spot are we <laughs> We just lost everything that we just worked for. Oh, goodness gracious. There is no time to lose. I'll see you in the next one, folks. Bye-bye.